this is a place where we'll explore its lakes, parks and Bangalore. I mean, it, it, and gardens. <laughs> Today we have come to Hoskote Lake, which is just outside Bangalore, but still comes into the list. And it's a wonderful lake. Yup, it's a wonderful lake. And um, so it's a birders paradise near Bangalore. Or, I mean, yeah, we just came here and um, it took such a long drive and such a long time to find it. I almost thought of giving up. But now, since it's there, it's time. Our first find was a stork which was busy in doing personal things. And a purple moorhen walking along. The stork was very busy cleaning itself. And there was a pelican which was sitting right at the edge of the was moving right at the edge of the grasses you see there do you know that underneath these grasses also there is water uh, and so it makes it easier for these birds a duck was swimming there was some duck action going on with a few ducks flying in and a few out Lots of bird activity right away. Two pelicans were swimming in the middle of the lake. And this was a first for me in seeing pelicans. And on the other side there was a nest of, of some bird which we don't know exactly the name of because it was far off. But these two pelicans were both swimming gracefully in the water. Two ducks were swimming in, in the in the lake, it, gracefully as well in another a small part of the lake. It was also good to see it, it, this happening because as it is generally amazing. Brown pelican, uh, bra uh, these species, the species that was swimming all along here in this Hoskote Lake is called the brown pelican which generally inhabits the freshwater areas other pelicans like the beaches most most other pelicans have very long beaks while this one and has a shorter beak than most so that's uh, one thing that differenti differentiates it's this pelican and the species from other pelican species is and but although it was still a great trip this is a small unso this is a small water body it, the hoskote lake is a small water body but still it, it invites a lots of birds coming in a uh, lots of birds in especially in the winter season when the birds uh, are so, uh, are a lot on as they come here to breed and out of nowhere a brahmini kite appeared it sat down on an electric pole or to well munch on something the brahmini kite is known as, uh, is is found in, in places like southeast asia the indian subcontinent and australia in australia it's known as the australian and red uh, 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 Australian red kite, I, which and and this species can be easily identified because of its white ne uh, white neck and head and its brown body. The Brahmin, this was as uh, as close as I could get to the Brahmini kite. I filmed from both the car window and the car uh, rooftop, which had an uh, sunroof, which had an opening. And I got great shots of the kite just us eating and it's good food. But later I thought it wasn't eating anything because it stared down on the pole and continued doing that at This island was ab this lake was absolutely flooded with pelicans and no matter where you are you always see a pelican in your eye the wingspan of of the brown pelican is also not as much as other pelicans as you see here as this one is trying to cross to the other side of the lake egg through its flight these kind of seabirds can't fly as high as other birds can 
but they certainly can fly high. Can you see the small movement in behind the plants? That was a cute little puppy, which was a surprise to see here at the Hoskote Lake. Egg, but it certainly the puppy was cute. Another dog seemed to have liked his position a lot. The position where he's sitting. Okay, back to the birds. The same two pelicans were this time swimming to the other side than what they were earlier. And then one, one of the pelicans continued going that side while one other pelican turned around and started going the other way. Eh, this was a very peculiar, peculiar thing to see but still amazing. After going a little ahead, the other pelican also decided to turn around and not leave its friend behind. And bam, the other pelican was swimming so gracefully. The other pelican had re almost reached near a fisher, fisherman's boat. I later noticed that the place it was go going to was that island which might be its home. But the other pelican was way too far out from the island. So, but it will slowly get there. Or it might actually not be going there. Far, far off in the distance, a duck was, was swimming with only its head up. Another pelican was heading out, out onto the other side of the lake which was the right side of the lake and it was heading out to some um, other place maybe some other island which might be its home the other pelican had, had reached had reached home but it looks like it just came in there for a break as it was swimming right alongside it but still swimming putting its head down and back up again and it was and it was swimming in with lot of intent to do so this duck was was heading across uh, to the left side of the lake where the pelican was also heading across to eventually the pelican just was staying put at one place which was the center of the island a, a pelican was with its long beak and and gliding along on and just and the other pelican was on the other side of the island so both were swimming on different sides of the island but both were at the same island and this pelican was swimming so fast right and another brahmini kite was was on this on another electric pole while the pelican just gracefully just lovely it is see it swimming along like that. while another pelican was ja while the same pelican had turned around and had gone to the side where the nest that we showed you earlier was <laughs> 